Well, we're going to Kitchen with Lucy Greer. She's here with us. Guys, what's on the menu today? Well, luckily we're in the kitchen with Lucy and she is making up shrimp and orzo and you've only barely started some of this, but I'm already really starting to smell it <laughs> I know. and it smells good for this morning. <laughs> yes, we can already smell our two tablespoons of butter and one tablespoon of olive oil and I just have it over medium low heat and I thought with school starting back, um, this is a really quick, simple dinner um, and something that can really kind of stretch your dollar because it's going to make us a lot. Um, Perfect. I know that uh, shrimp is a little bit of a more expensive protein that all of us don't eat all the time. Um, you know, it's, uh, sometimes usually easier and more affordable to eat chicken mm -hmm. and beef and pork, um, a certain cut. So I thought this will be a good way just to incorporate shrimp. But a lot of times, um, you know, people aren't quite sure exactly what to do with it either. So this is um, a simple way to, to use it and introduce introduce it to your family if it's not something that you eat all the time. I like that. I'm always looking for different meats to incorporate, especially if they go on sale a certain yeah. week. I've done the pork chops, the chicken, the beef, but other things that I can find. Absolutely. It's always a win. I know. Switch things up. Definitely. So um, I just added half of an onion that I just finely chopped. I don't hear any sizzle. I'm just going <laughs> to turn it up a little bit. We just want it over medium heat. We just want to cook the onions for about 10 minutes until they're translucent and really soft. We're not trying to put color on them. Mm -hmm. um, but while those cook, I'm going to go ahead and add our seasonings too. So I have a uh, half a teaspoon of black pepper, a three quarters teaspoon of dried thyme, and a teaspoon of salt. So like I said, we're just going to cook these for about 10 minutes um, because we want them really nice and soft and then after that we're going to add in our orzo pasta. Do you eat orzo at home? Um, I've never actually made it at home. I've had it at restaurants but I've never yeah it never looks um, you know of course it looks like rice mm -hmm. um, and it looks a little bit like or or borio rice that you make uh, risotto out of, but it's uh, a pasta. It just doesn't look like it, and I love it. My aunt um, always made orzo growing up, and she cooked it uh, just with the butter and toasted it, and then cooked it with beef and chicken broth just as a side dish. Yeah. So um, I just kind of took inspiration from her, and there's a, a lot of different ways to cook it. A lot of people just boil it like pasta, mm -hmm. drain it off, and then add, you know, make pasta salad out of it or um, anything. But I like to do it like she did, where I let the broth absorb and get all that flavor. Yeah, so I was just it's, say, all that flavor. And it's uh, small, you know, so it's quick I say, it cooking. Seems quick, yeah, yeah. Quick so it'll be, That's it'll be quick. Absolutely. So what it's I need. A, a simple and a dish with not a lot of ingredients, but um, it's going to have a lot of great flavor for us. So awesome. we'll just let those soften up, and then um, we're going to add this and get it uh, toasting in that butter and olive oil too before we add the other stuff. Sounds delicious. Yeah. So we're going to have more with Lucy coming up in just a little bit, plus also seeing what's going on with Greer's as we head into a brand new school year. We'll have all of that coming up in just a little bit. We are back in the kitchen with Lucy Greer. She is making shrimp and orzo. Okay, what ingredients do we have in here so far? Okay, we started in our pot with two tablespoons of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil, and we added half of an onion that we just chopped up really mm -hmm. fine, and we put our seasonings in, which was just salt, pepper, and a little bit of dried thyme, and we let those onions cook down for about 10 minutes until they're very soft, and then we added two cups of our dry orzo pasta. So we talked a little bit about orzo in the first segment. It is a pasta, but it looks like rice. Yeah. And um, so I, I grew up eating it because my aunt always cooked it. And it's, it's great because it's quick cooking. And Vanessa was just asking, could you do the same thing like with a, a different pasta? Different pasta, yeah. And it wouldn't exactly, we wouldn't use the same technique, if, but we could still do all the flavors and just do it a different way. But what you could use instead of the orzo is arborio rice, which okay. is the rice um, that is made with for risotto. Okay. So, um, and you would do it pretty much the same way, which actually this is the way that you start risotto is you um, do the same onions and then you put it in and, you know, get a little uh, toast on it and then add your broth. And when you make risotto, you add um, a little bit of broth at a time, stir until it absorbs and then the starch releases from that rice and creates that creamy orza, um, risotto. Mm -hmm. So it's a 
little bit more labor intensive. So the good thing about orzo is that we're not going to uh, have to stand over the pot yeah. um, while this liquid absorbs. So but you it, have to you, keep stirring it. We do right now mm -hmm. because once I added it, um, after we got those onions cooked, I added the pasta. And you can see it's kind of toasting up yes. now. So I increased the heat just a little bit. Remember I said I didn't want any un color on the onions. We right. just wanted them to soften. And now when I added the pasta, I did want to get some color on it, which is happening. Oh, it smells good though. It does, it oh. does. So now, since we've gotten um, a little bit of color and toast on that uh, orzo, I'm like, what are we doing now? Orzo. <laughs> um, we'll add our broth. So I'm doing two cups of beef and two cups of, of chicken. chicken. Okay. And I mentioned, you know, my aunt is the one that made this all the time growing up, and she always did it as a side dish. Um, we always had it as a side dish. But now, um, I think that she does do shrimp in it. I don't know exactly how she does it, and I should have asked her before I came <laughs> on here. So I thought, oh, I don't know, I'll just wing it on here and see. Uh, but what, came, what I came up with is good anyway. So I'll have to compare my notes with hers. Mm, so yeah, this is one of the questions that I was gonna ask mm -hmm. you because you were stirring the rice, but mm -hmm. I'm like, but there's no liquid in there yeah. hardly. But now is when you put in the, the broth in there. So now you wait how long for this? So now we are going to let this cook for 10 minutes and the liquid is going to start being absorbed by the uh, pasta. And then after 10 minutes, we're gonna add our one pound of shrimp. I like to use, I just buy from our frozen food, Gulf shrimp that are already peeled and deveined. So I have those ready. And then I have just uh, a cup of frozen peas. So after 10 minutes, we're going to add this and cook it for about 10 minutes more and we'll be ready for supper. Ooh, I'm excited because yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, we'll come back and check on this. So right now, I guess we'll give it like 10 minutes. We're back in the kitchen with Lucy Greer. All right. We got this cooked. Look. Looks like it's cooked, right? Yes, it really, um, it's crazy how fast it absorbed. I Our know. orzo. That looks really good. Yeah, so what we did, what we did was we started out with uh, a couple of tablespoons of butter mm. and uh, olive oil. We cooked our onions down with a little bit of salt and pepper and thyme. And then we added our two cups of dried orzo pasta and we let that toast up. And then we added two cups of chicken broth and two cups of beef broth. Mm. And that's where we are now so uh, about 10 minutes right. and a lot of that liquid absorbed and now I'm adding which I didn't want the um, collected water from those shrimp now I'm adding one pound of peeled and deveined shrimp and a cup of our green peas and we'll just cook this for about another 10 minutes just wow. long enough for those shrimp to cook through and yeah. the shrimp are gonna let off a little bit of liquid and and the peas are gonna just cook quickly too and as soon as those shrimp are done, we will be ready to eat. Yay, I'm excited because yeah. I'm kind of hungry this morning. But, um, you know, it looks like it's a really simple dish to make and mm -hmm. it didn't take that many ingredients, right? No, it didn't. And of course, anytime we're dealing with rice or pasta, um, it's great for feeding a crowd. And mm -hmm. I thought with school starting back, uh, this would be something that would come together quickly. And everybody's uh, talking about whether it's your nieces or nephews right. or kids or grandkids. Everybody's like, ah, school's starting back, you know. <laughs> um, and it's, uh, you know, those long nights right. and uh, late nights are, are maybe coming to an end and having to get supper on the table at a, a more reasonable time yeah. than when I get it on the table right now during the summer. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so it would be great for supper and, and just kind of an easy dish, kind of in introducing maybe some new things to your family. Maybe you haven't cooked orzo before and right. maybe you don't eat shrimp often, um, but really th those are two great things to keep in the pantry, keep that orzo in the pantry and keep the shrimp in the freezer and then that way um, you know on those last minute nights you can really yeah. pull something together quickly so. and these items you can all find them at Greer's markets right yes and with school starting back um, if you haven't had a chance to shop online mm -hmm. with uh, time of course just being so critical for everyone no matter what's going on in your life um, just let us do the shopping for you you can download our app it's free just type in Greer's and we have delivery options and of course curbside pickup um, and we deliver through all the um, you know instacart and shipped and 
and everybody. So. I did not know that. Yeah. Okay, so that's so. good to know, mm -hmm. especially right now with school starting yes. up. Yes. I know my mom, she always tried to make a meal for us coming from, from school, so this definitely yeah. looks like something that we can even, she could leave it out, we could put it back in the microwave or something, heat it up for a bit and then That's a great it. point, yeah. yeah, and and a lot of, of course, parents are working now, yeah. and so uh, kids coming home after school to have something, that's a great point, too. You can't go wrong with pasta, really. You can't, no. yeah. Never. All right, well, Lucy, thank you, and then <laughs> we'll keep you. an eye on this so then we can okay. uh, eat some of this. Yes.